this is Andy Parawa for ID Boxing. I'm joined by Cal Yafai here in Abu Dhabi. Cal, how are you? How are you finding life back in the ring? Yeah, good. I'm excited. Excited to be back. Um, excited to be here in uh, Abu Dhabi and, you know, it's great. Obviously, Cal, you spent two and a half years outside of the ring now. Just tell everybody what you've kind of been doing in that time. Enjoying life. Enjoying life and... Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and and do, obviously I've been training, but I'm enjoying life. Two and a half years out, coming back at Bantamweight, it's so only one weight that you're moving up. So it's about that decision. Was there ever a temptation to maybe move up a couple of weights? Um, yeah, we'll see tomorrow night. Well, Saturday night, sorry. We'll see, um, see how I feel, and then we'll take it from there. Carl, for you, what's kind of your overriding desire and passion left within the sport? People will kind of look at it and think on the outside, two and a half years away from boxing, return now. What more do you want to achieve? For you, when you look at it coming back, what are your remaining desires and passions within the sport? There's only one thing really, and that's to become a world champion again. I was world champion for such a long time. Um, and, you know, I was just used to being world champion, so that's, that's what I want to do again. I'm, I'm not in it for anything else. So There's nothing that... Nothing that really, you know, does anything for me. Um, to be, be a multi weight world champion, then I can, uh, I'd be happy then. I can retire. Going two and a half years without boxing, Carl. Um, was that always the initial plan to take a, a bit of time out like that, or was you hoping to be back sooner? Talk to me about that. Plan. Yeah, I was, I was going to have a, a long break afterwards, um, but then the pandemic hit straight after, and then it just went on for ages. And before I knew it, I was massive. And then um, I had other things going on outside of the ring, and then that was it. Um, got, got obviously got back into shape and got my life sorted outside the ring, and that's it. Now I'm ready. I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm happy, and I'm ready to be back. Carl, the weight making front, obviously in the past there was no secret about super flyweight. Was it necessarily an easy thing for you to do uh, when you come towards the end of your time at that weight? Looking at bantam weight now, especially after two and a half years out of the ring, will it be difficult for you to drop down? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it's, you know, it's a weird one because, like, I'll box in between the Bantamweight and Super Bantamweight limit on Saturday, and um, I feel great. So, time will tell. Looking at that world scene, as you mentioned, there's only one reason you've come back into boxing. What, it's a very difficult division to return to. I've seen you have a man who's dominating it currently. Uh, he's got that undisputed bout with Paul Butler on the horizon. So for you, what is the plan? Is the hope that you get a chance eventually at a new way? Or if he does beat Paul Butler as most expect, he vacates and then everything's up for grabs? Yeah, just see what whatever what happens. Um, obviously, I'll concentrate on Saturday. That's the main thing for me. I've been out the ring a long time. Um, get back in and um, and then see, 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 what's, see what's available afterwards. As you mentioned, a long, long time out of the ring again. Um, ring rust. Do you expect that to play a part on Saturday night? I couldn't tell you because I've seen fighters that have, you know, they've um, they've had a long time out of the ring, come back, look great. It doesn't bother them. I've seen fighters that look diabolical. Just don't know. But you know, I've prepared and um, I've trained properly. You know, I've lived the life as I always do. That was it. I, I just do my part, get in the ring, and do what I, what, what I know I'm capable of doing. Um, and if that comes off Saturday night, then great. If I'm a bit rusty, um, then I'll obviously know, yeah, I'm rusty and, and we'll work on that. Carl, when I've interviewed you in, your, in the past, you've always said that Galal was the most naturally talented of the three of you. He's obviously turned over to the pro ranks now and he's taken it by storm. What does it mean to you to share a card with him for the first time this weekend? Yeah, it's great. Um, me, and Galau, me and Gamal shared cards before, it's been great. Now me and Galal are doing it. Um, Gamal's the left that one that's been left out. Yeah, he's been left out, unfortunately. But I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there'll be a card at some point with all three of us on. But um, yeah, it's great. To, it's great to share a card with Galal, Olympic champion, um, and it's great to be here as well in Abu Dhabi, an Arab country. Um, you know, it's it feels feels like home really. So it feels good. Carl, you've spoken, and everybody's spoken about kind of how quickly Galal can move in the pro ranks because of his amateur success. Eddie said to me yesterday he thinks two or three more fights beyond Saturday and he'd be ready to challenge for world honours. Do you echo those calls? Um, I think he's just concentrating on getting Saturday out of the way first. Galal's that kind of guy. And I think we all are. We just, just get to do one at a time. There's no point talking about other fights. 
It may not be, but obviously there's some very tasty fights potentially yeah. on offer there. The Sonny Edwards one in particular for UK fans with uh, Galal could be one which just sets the world alight. And Bam Rodriguez dropping to 112 as well, again a potential fight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great time to be a flyweight, um, for, especially for Galal. Um, so there's, there's a fight out there for him. It's just a matter of matter of time, really. Did you watch uh, Galal and Sonny Spa? Um, no, never. But I've, obviously, I know all about. I've heard all about it. So, yes. so, what have you heard about it? Come on, they don't talk about sparring. That's fair enough, Carl. Um, just before I let you go, I just want to kind of leave a final word to yourself on the main event, Bivol Ramirez. What's your take? Um, both quality fighters, both top top, you know, world class, but elite fighters. But um, I just lead towards Bivol. I was going to leave him out. I was going to that. Oh, we've got to end it because you're about to go. In fact, so Kel, thanks for me to me in ID Boxing. What's that, sorry? We've got to end it there because you've got to go. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problems. Anytime, Andy.